Number 5. The Theory of Everything is a 2014 biographical film directed by James Marsh and based on the life of physicist Stephen Hawking. The movie tells the life story of Stephen Hawking played by Eddie Redmayne. Starting from his early days as a Ph.D. student at the University of Cambridge, however, at a young age, he is diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis ALS, a severe neurodegenerative disease, and is told by doctors that he has only two years to live. Despite facing this daunting challenge, Hawking not only perseveres through his academic pursuits, but also becomes a world-renowned theoretical physicist. The film focuses on Hawking's personal life, particularly his relationship with his first wife, Jane Wilde, played by Felicity Jones. Jane is his primary source of support and stands by him unwaveringly as they confront the challenges posed by L as the movie underscores their enduring love and Hawking's profound research into the origins of the universe. This is going to be a very heavy defeat. But I love him. He loves me. We're going to fight this illness together. Good luck. Why? I'm okay. So, this black hole at the beginning of time. Brilliant. Brilliant, Stephen. Well done, Doctor. He has pneumonia. The only way he will survive would be to give him a tracheotomy. He will never speak again. Yes, he will. My name is Stephen Hawking. It's American. Is that a problem? It has been a great joy to watch this man defy every expectation, both scientific and personal. There should be no boundary to human endeavor. However bad life may seem, while there is life, there is hope. Thank you. Sorry, did you say something? I said thank you. Number 4. Radioactive is a 2019 biographical drama film directed by Marjane Satrapi. Based on the life story of Marie Curie, the movie tells the story of Marie Curie, played by Rosamund Pike, and her husband Pierre Curie, played by Sam Riley, as they embark on a journey of scientific discovery. Their work in the early 20th century brought revolutionary changes to the field of science. Marie Curie, with her courage and brilliance, became the first scientist ever to win Nobel Prizes twice and the first woman to ever receive this prestigious honor. The film explores the marriage and scientific collaboration between Marie and Pierre, as well as their research into radioactive elements, particularly uranium and radium. This research led to significant scientific advancements while also revealing the dangers of radioactive elements to human health, which raised concerns at the time. It's my name. I'm just the wife, isn't that right? What have I ever treated you I like? am the wife of Pierre Curie. I want to protest in the strongest possible terms. It is a distinct lack of respect. They don't like you here. <laughs> what have other people's opinions ever affected anything I've done? You did the extraordinary. You changed the world. There are those that say that radium is making them sick. He's invented a poison! Oh! The things that make us weak are the things that make us strong. My science could cure cancer. This is my light. And I will win it. Number three. October Sky is a 1999 biographical drama film based on a true story. The movie is set in a small town in West Virginia, USA, and follows the journey of a young boy named Homer Hickam. Homer Hickam, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, is the son of a coal miner, growing up in a community where it's expected that most boys will follow in their father's footsteps and become miners. However, 
His passion for space and rockets is ignited after the launch of the Soviet satellite Sputnikin. 1957. Determined to pursue his dream of becoming a rocket scientist, Homer decides to defy tradition. The film depicts how Homer gathers a group of like-minded friends and embarks on the challenging journey of building rockets to compete in a science fair. They face various obstacles, including a lack of resources, technical difficulties, and skepticism from their community. Or you didn't kill anybody. Things are bad at the mine. Your daddy's stuck in the middle. Well, you put all this nonsense behind you, Homer. It isn't nonsense. It sure was exciting watching your rockets go up. I know I'm going to be a miner. I've known my entire life. I have no choice. As long as you are alive on this planet, you have a choice. From the producer of Field of Dreams, a Joe Johnston film. Coleman's your life. It's not mine. Universal Pictures presents the true story of a boy who risked everything for a dream. You want to get out of here so bad, then go. Go! Yeah, I'll go! I won't even look back! Sometimes, you just can't listen to what anybody else says. You just gotta listen inside. This spring, turn your eyes to the sky and watch what happens when everything you believe in soars. I don't think we got a chance. October Sky. Number two. Tesla is a 2020 biographical drama film directed by Michael Almereda. The movie tells the life story of the legendary inventor and scientist Nikola Tesla. Portrayed by Ethan Hawke, Tesla is a Serbian-American scientist known for his significant contributions to fields like electricity, magnetism, and wireless communication. The film presents Tesla's career in a unique manner, offering a contemporary perspective and experimental elements to provide a deeper insight into his thoughts and inventions. The movie also explores Tesla's interactions and conflicts with other prominent scientists and entrepreneurs of his time, including Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse. Their rivalry and collaboration revolve around the War of the Currents, a dispute over alternating current AC and direct current DC electrical systems through complex characters and a unique narrative style. The film portrays the multifaceted nature of Tesla, an important but less widely recognized scientist in history. Must come true. All my dreams are true. <laughs> you want lemonade? You work at night in a secret laboratory. You shoot lightnings from the earth to the sky. If I'm to rank the team Wildcat, and I've become nothing but a mass of bloody scratches. <laughs> How you like being scratched? If necessary. The dream that Tesla dreamed first. Number one. Oppenheimer is a 2023 biographical drama film directed by Christopher Nolan. The story revolves around the American physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, played by Cillian Murphy, and his involvement in the development of the atomic bomb. The film begins with Oppenheimer's days as a student at the California Institute of Technology. He was a brilliant physicist who made significant breakthroughs in the field of quantum mechanics. With the outbreak of World War II, Oppenheimer was recruited by the U.S. Army Ordnance Department to participate in the Manhattan Project. He led a group of scientists and engineers, ultimately succeeding in creating the world's first atomic bomb. The film provides a perspective from Oppenheimer's viewpoint. Narrating the rise and fall of the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer was a complex figure, both a genius scientist and an idealist grappling with moral dilemmas. He was both excited and haunted by the development of the atomic bomb. Viewing it as a dark turning point in human history, he dedicated himself to advocating for nuclear disarmament and urged nations to coexist in peace. Why? 
How about because this is the most important thing that ever happened in the history of the world? You're the great improviser, but this... you can't do in your head. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. This is a matter of life and death. But I can perform this miracle. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. That's happening, isn't it? The world will remember this day. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. Until somebody builds a bigger one. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One.